Good morning. Let's play with my fingernail polish collection. We're going to throw some out. We're going to keep some. We're going to, I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to put my glasses on so I can tell you what the colors are. The reason I'm addressing my nail polish collection is because I quit going to the nail salon. I was getting my nails done every three or four weeks, either getting gel or powder. And the last couple of times I went, I've changed, anyway, last couple of times I went, I had manicurists with, or nail techs with bad attitude. And I was a regular and I was tipping well and I was just tired of spending the money to be mistreated. So I started doing my nails again myself. When I'd go to search for a color, I would find that it was goopy. So I went and bought a new one. So I won't just keep adding to this big pile of polishes and getting them mixed together, what works and what doesn't, I decided I would sort through them and start throwing away the ones that I'm not going to wear or the ones that are no longer wearable. And I mentioned this to Kathy from Kathy's Beauty Care Chats and she says, oh, I hope you're going to do a clean, a declutter video. And I thought, all right, I don't know if y'all will be interested in that or not. It might be boring, but I hope not. So let's begin. The first one I pulled out that's on top is from the Hello Kitty collection and it's called, wow, are we going to do this? Whole, it's called On the Prowl. It's really cute, isn't it? I hate to throw that one away. So let's look and see. Y'all know how old the Hello Kitty collection is, right? The uh, Rubbery top is sticky, of course. Why do they do that? It looks like it's still in good condition. So I'm not throwing that one out, especially since it's a, a collector's thing. I'm trying to determine if the lettering's coming off. I think the lettering's coming off. All right, I have some gel polish collection from Gelish. And I still have the black light that goes with it. And so I don't know whether those are any good or not. I'll put those to the side. And one day when I feel froggy, I'll test those. I have some colors and some top coats and some, wow, a bunch of them. Those probably go bad. It's hard to determine whether they're... I really don't want to do gel polish at home. That is so much work. Removing, wrapping your nails in um, acetone soaked cotton with foil around it. All right, I have a bunch of glitters. This one is from OPI and it's called Show It, Show It and Glow It. That one doesn't have make a shaker thing at all. That looks pretty goopy. What say y'all? Yeah, that one's pretty. Yeah, I'd say that one's gone to the bad place. All right. And I'm not adding acetone or whatever. Nail thing. Okay, so show it and glow it. It was pretty, wasn't it? All right, bye-bye. I threw something away. <laughs> All right, this one's by Milani. This one's called Do Not Know. But I was really into rose gold glitters for a while. And I'm not nodding. Wow, that one's really pretty. Let's see if it still... 
That one looks pretty good. So that one's, oh, this one's called uh, 50 Gilded Rocks. That one looks like it's still doable. If I go to use it and it acts up, then I'll toss it. Here's another glitter. This one's by China Glaze and it's called Techno. Yes, I love all things sparkly. That one's kind of pretty. It looks kind of thick. I hesitate to mess up my nails. It still, it still, it was starting to pour. So we're going to keep that one. And if it acts up the first, when I go to use it, then we'll throw, oh, let's see. Another, here's the thing that uh, stepped up, started my whole rose gold glitter infatuation. This is from uh, Sephora. It's really beautiful. It's got big glitters, and I think they're hexagon shaped, and they're called Traffic Stopper Copper. That makes sense, doesn't traffic stopper that they would be hexagon like stop signs? It's pretty thick. Yeah, I think that one's had it. The glitter itself is really pretty, but will, would it dry or would it would it cause a goopy mess? Okay, let's just go ahead and say goodbye. <laughs> All right, another glitter. Here's one by Koki, and it's it's all it's a pinky silvery glitter, and it's called Sparkler Send Off. I think that one's still good, so we'll keep that one. And then if it acts up when I try to use it, we'll throw it away. Here's another glitter. This one is by Revlon, and it's called Radiant, and it's still quite liquid. Yeah, that one's pretty. All right, we'll save that one. This one's really super cool. This one's by Deborah Littman, and it's called Mermaid's Dream. And it's still quite liquid. So we'll save that one. That one's cool. That one's got glitters and speckles, dark speckles. I'm keeping that one. If it acts up, I'll throw it away. This is the one that I bought to go with the Koki glitter. This one's Koki in Fresh Picked. It's a pale pink. Very, still very good. I'm going to keep that one. Uh-oh. My collection's not getting any smaller. Do I see any more? Ooh, this one looks thick. It looks like we could probably get... The little beads are shaking around in it. This one is called... This one's from the Shrek collection. It's called Ogre the Top Blue. Sounds like it's still good. Yep, it still drips. Boy, that brush is all wide. I don't know why. Okay, so we'll keep that one. If it acts up, I'll throw it away. Here's another glittery. This one's from Butter London, and it's called Knackered. It is one of those shifting, iridescent, green, gray, purple, gold. It's got some cotton stuck to it. Since it's still shaky, 
I'll keep it it's, since it'll still shake. Here's another glitter. This one does not have, oh, here it is, Stunner. And it's gold. I, I think it's got gold and white confetti in it. I'll see if I can show you up close. Let me get it shaken. You see a theme here? Sparkles. Actually, the look, it, the white confettis look like half circles from like a leopard print. That one's called Stunner. It's number 920 by Revlon. All right, I'll keep that one. This one has never worked well, I don't think. I don't remember. It's Cover Girl. I think it was too sheer. Maybe not. I don't remember. This one was called Outlast Stay I don't know. 305. It's still pretty liquid. I don't know whether it was too sheer or not. I can't remember. And I'm not going to mess up my nails trying. So I'll keep that one. Here's something Pat got me. It does work. Here's the white base coat I was using. And since I, oh, I mean a white. It looks like it's pretty good. It's by Revlon. It's called Color Plus Base. Sure thing. I'm not throwing anything away, am I? I will though. Okay, here's one. It's oh, this remember the scented polishes. If nothing else, this will remind me of what I have, so that I will try using it. This one is bubble gum. It smells like fingernail polish, and it's still very liquidy. It said scented. Maybe it's scented after you paint it. Anyway, that's a great color. All right. Ooh, this one's good. This is an iridescent pink by Sally Hansen. It's called Miracle Gel. Step one, pink up. It's And it's iridescent. Wow, I should paint my nails every day, right? Ooh, I don't think I like these brushes. Those are really wide, aren't they? All right, we'll give that one a go. That one's still pretty wet. Here's a China Glaze named Sugar High. Mm -hmm. This one's sounding a little thick. It's quite a theme here, isn't there? That one's still liquidy enough to keep, I think. Wow, I'm just not throwing any away. All right, here's one of those brown ones. That my kids hated. This is the a dupe for this was called Teddy Bear, and it's a dupe for you don't know Jacques. Throwing that away. I hate that color. Here's another glittery one. This one's called First Class Desires. It's purple and gold. by OPI, purple and gold. And I can't remember why I don't wear it very much. It might be very sheer, like you put it over the top of something else. We'll give that one a go. <laughs> I know, I have a hard time throwing stuff away. Wild Strawberry, I love this one. I think I've bought it multiple times. This one's iridescent, got a Metallic finish it's by Revlon. Can you see that it kind of shifts a little bit? Still liquidy enough. 
we'll put that one in my pink stack. Here's one by Revlon. It's also scented. It's called Passion Fruit. And it still shakes. Still liquidy enough to use. Wow, I guess they don't go off as quickly as I would suspect. Okay, here's one. This one's pretty. This one's called Extravagant. It's by Revlon. It's a metallic pink. Fuchsia pink. Still shaky. Cotton ball. I guess we'll leave it in there. Here's one. It's Teeny Weeny Sally Girl. It looks kind of sheer. I'll throw that one away. Here's one. I know I've had this one. Cherries in the snow. I bet I've had this one at least 10 years. It's still pretty liquidy. It's shaker doesn't shake. This one's probably gone bad. This one is called Pinky... Oh. Y'all remember say in my in my videos I used to wear this one a lot. Pinky Promise. It's my shoulder joint. Okay, I don't know whether the balls won't come free. The shaker shaker beads. I'll have to give it a go. All right, this one was a recommendation from Cherie. She was one of my followers from, subscribers from my first channel. It's China Glaze Wonderlust. It's a lavender pink iridescent, and it's really pretty. And it's still liquidy enough to keep. It's Wonderlust. Okay, so the milky pinks I'll keep in one spot. The purpley pinks, the pink, the bubblegum pinks. Here's another one. Fuchsia Fever by Revlon. That one's pretty. It's still liquidy enough to keep. I guess the best way to know these is to actually try to wear them to find out whether they're, they're bad or not. Here's a Zoya milky pink and it's called dot I, I would have to say that i don't care for zoya i don't think it's very long wearing it's still pretty liquidy i, I don't think it stands i'll have to try it again but if i remember properly it it just it doesn't perform well here's another sally hansen and this one is called Perplexed. This one is an OPI and it's called Pamploma, Pamplona, Pamplona, Pamplona Purple. That one's still very shit. I think I bought this one in the past year. Okay, that one's going in the purple pile. All right, here's one that looks like it might be off. Vamsterdam, Brianna Stanko's sister, when they used to do videos together. She wore this polish in her video, and I admired it, and she shared what color it was. That's where I got this one. Keeping that one, putting that one in my purple pile. When I, okay, Avon Nailwear Pro. I don't re I, I don't remember how this one worked. And since I've never worn it, and I doubt I ever will, I have a piece of paper. That's what I'll do. I'll pull a piece of paper out. Or a box. Let's use one of a, a box and see what color it comes out. really dark blue or dark navy towards black, right? 
Let's keep moving along and see if we can find something to throw away. This one is Color Show by Maybelline and it's called An Old Flame. It's a nice warm red and it seems to still be in working order. Okay, so I'm going to put that with my reds. I'll show you what kind of organization I have going over here in a minute. That one's a milky pink and that's a glitter. That's a blue. Those are greens. Let's see, reds. I need a red pile. Here's another blue. This one's by Revlon and it's called Mysterious and it's a me metallic blue. Let's see if this one needs to be thrown out. Still pretty drippy. The white one, I guess I'll put with the milky, milky pinks. Milky, milky cocoa puff. Look how close these are. Well, they don't look that close in the viewfinder. All right, here's another sparkle. And I'm pretty sure this one didn't, this one is a pure, is it called Pure Ice, the brand? Boy, it's pretty in the bottle, isn't it? You can't, you can't judge a polish by what it looks like in the bottle for sure. I guess it might be pretty over this something else. It sure is sparkly. I'll have to try, I'll have to experiment with this over the top of something else. See? Wow, I misjudged you, my friend. All right, I'll put that with the sparkles. That might be pretty over the Hello Kitty Gray, right? Here's another sparkle. Ooh, this one's fabulous. This one's called, Is This Star Taken? It's silver, metallic. It looks like it's got uh, holographic confettis in it. Mm, here's another pink sparkle. This one's, this one's from Wet n Wild. Mm. It still shakes. Still drippy. Uh, while I was changing the laundry over from the washer to the dryer, I was thinking, how could I, I guess I could give updates, like, or maybe I could do a month of a different nail color every day, which would force me to change colors. This one's this one's kind of pretty, but the it's going a little too warm for me. But but for real, the name is off-putting. Hands off my kielbasa. Anyway, it seems it's by OPI. It seems to be boy, it's the color of my hands, isn't it? If I wanted a a mannequin hand look, that would be a good one. All right, well, I need a new stack for mannequin hand colors. All right, here's another, okay, here's the Sally Hansen gel coat, uh, the top coat from my gel polishes. I really believe that this brand won't set up unless you use its own top coat, if I remember properly. Here's another uh, MAC collection. I think it's the London collection. It still has its box, but its lids, its rubberized lids still got gooby. Oh, For Pete's sake. Boy, that's an ugly color. It's a pretty bottle, but it is an ugly color, isn't it? Boy, it's shaky. Boy, the lid's sticky. That is an ugly color. I'll have to remember that in case one day I want, I wake up and I go, today I want ugly nails. Today I want to look like I slammed my fingers in the door. All right, so that one, that one is a MAC limited edition. And all right, here's an Essie and it's, kind of blue. 
I'm going to put it with my blues. This one is called Butler Please, and I think it's really stunning on. I remember it. it it's not one of those that you put on. Essie had, I have a problem with Essie wanting to be streaky. But I'm going to keep that one. We'll see if it's still, yeah, it's still plenty, it's still plenty wet. All right. Here's another Essie. I've had this one a long time. Back about maybe nine or ten years ago, I went with a friend to Miami. Her daughter was doing, was a model and was doing goat seeds, and I was her hair and makeup for the whole week. And I had a pedicure at one of the salons there in Miami, and I got mannequin toes, and I think this is what it was. So I bought it when I got home. It's called Over the Knee. It's not quite a, you don't know, Jacques color. It is kind of though, isn't it? It kind of is. I really can't tell anything about these until I actually try to apply them and see if they set up. Here's a Nutrinelle growth formula with green tea and a kai berry in antioxidants. Can't tell you whether that works or not. Here's another blue. I was on a camping trip, my nails <laughs> chipped, and I bought this in a CVS and probably Brevard, and it's called Coastal Surf, and it's still wet. So I will put this one with my blue collection. Here's a bright, okay, I'm not gonna tell y'all what this one's called. I'm going to let you tell me in the comments what color this one is. If you are within my age, within 10 years, you've all had it on your fingers or toes at one point. Let me know in the comments what this one is and I'm gonna keep it. Yeah, I'm gonna keep that one. I'll put that one with my reds. It looks like a pink though. It looks like a pink. It's good. Okay, tell me, does it go better with the pink with the pink collection? Or does it go better with the it goes better with the red collection, doesn't it? Okay, we're gonna put it with the red collection. Alright, here's another little Wow, it's a Kat Von D. Urgh! Let's see how it paints on a box. The color is, cannot say. That's what it looks like on the box. We'll keep that one. Put that one with my purples. Okay, here's another one from OPI. Can I read without my, can't read without my lipstick. That one looks like it's still good. Wow, it doesn't even look like I've ever used it. It doesn't even have any polish on the neck of the bottle. Okay, here's a Revlon. It's called Electric. Which reminds... Ooh, that's pretty. How is it different from Strawberry? Wild Strawberry. It's just a dibby dab dark. There's Wild Strawberry by Revlon. Revlon Color Stay, and this one's Electric by Revlon Revlon. Pretty close, right? Must I must like that color. Big Apple Red. That one's pretty. Guess which collection I'm going to put that with. Yeah, that one's still wet. I'm going to put that one with my red collection. This is exhausting. Got the blues for red. So I guess they're insinuating that this is a, a blue-red, right? That one's still very wet. I don't know whether to put that with my purples. Oh, or my reds. Since the name has red in it, I'll put it with my reds. Okay, this one's super old. Like, it's as old as Methuselah. Oh, and it won't even shake. It's divided. A, a, a polish divided. 
It's by Borghese. Oh yeah. That one. <laughs> that one I cannot make any excuses for. It has to go bye bye. All right, this one's Private Weekend by Essie. This one, if you're feeling quite emotionally stable and you've not missed any of your mood stabilizing meds, you're welcome to try this. It's, it, is, it is really beautiful. It's got a fine, it's got a fine sparkle It is a pain, it is a pain in the rear end to apply. It's, I can't get it on smooth without streaks, but I'm keeping it because it's beautiful. All right, put that with my whites. I have the Essie top coat that's supposed to make any of them, it's called gel setter top coat. It's supposed to make any Essie polish last like a gel. I'll put that with my paint in the rear end private weekend. This one's a Zoya. It also has one of those stupid rubberized lids that the cotton sticks to and it feels gooey. It's called Godiva. It's the color of sand, I think. Maybe it's supposed to be the color of blonde hair. But it it feels gritty on your nails. I'm still keeping it. Now that I'm on a, it, it's, it looks like sand, it actually looks like sand on the beach because you know how the sand on the beach has little silvery glitters in it? So it's the colors, it looks like, look at that. It looks like a drip sand castle, watch this. Doesn't it? It looks like liquid sand in there. All right, I'm keeping that one. I can if I want to. It's my freaking polish. This one is called, this is another one of those uh, mannequin hands things. I bet I can shake my polish faster than you can, watch. Hey, have you ever seen them at the nail salon? They have a polish shaker. I think that's cool. Well, it's just cool. I want one of those. I want one. All right, I can't get it mixed. It's called Mambo. I can't get it all. It's got a yellow cast thing that won't mix. I bet if I keep shaking it though, it will. I'm keeping that. That's more mannequin hands sort of thing. Mambo. Okay, put that in the mannequin hands department over there. All right, here's a mini OPI. Oh dear. I can't begin to tell you what color this is. It looks brown, doesn't it? When I edit this and I have my magnifying glass, it's still wet enough. These little mini, mini things are really tough to paint your nails with. Anyway, it's cute. I'm keeping it. All right, here's an OPI nail lacquer in Shimmery Chic. I used to love it. It's bronze with red and green sparkles. It looks pretty goopy. It does. Here, let's paint it on the box. That is an ugly color. That is hideous. That is awful, isn't it? Wow, look at my manicure. See, that's why I hate painting my own nails. That looks like crap, too. All right, that is an ugly color. Y'all say bye to uh, 
Shimmery Chic. That's ugly. Hey, let's write this, this teeny little bottle. Let's see what color it was. It just looks dark. Doesn't have any nuances. It's just dark, right? No nuance. I'll take that to a friend at work since it's brand new and it's cute. She might like dark polish, or one of her girls might. Here's one, this one is called Irresistible. It's a lavender blue. The beads quit. All right, let's see. I don't know what happened to the beads. Yeah, that one's still real drippy. It's called Irresistible. There's the beads. All right, we'll put that one in our blue. Here's my blues. Here's how my blue collection's coming along. Here's another sparkle. This one's called Stunning. Didn't we already pull one of those out? I must have put it back in the bowl. Oh, nope. Ah. Stunning, not to be confused with Stunner. This one's Stunning, and this one's Stunner. I think I'm gonna go redo my nails and do them white with this over the top. That one's got a green cast to it next to this one, right? This one changes the top. This one's called Matte Pearl Glaze. That's cool, right? I'll put it on this cardboard box to see what it looks like. It's right here. Yeah, that was helpful. Thanks, Jenny. That was really helpful. Gosh, if it weren't for your channel, I would know nothing at all. Okay, well, that I'll let you know what I think of that. That's pretty cool. I can't recall the uh, occasion upon which I purchased that. I'll put that with my whites. Okay, here's this Nail Teaks formula, Nail Protein. Can't tell you whether that works or not either. Probably not going to find a situation in which I'm without nail polish so that I could use that. And it seems goopy. So I'm actually going to part with that. This one is a base coat. I don't know that I ever have the patience to put a base coat. Leave in the comments right here if you have the patience to put a base coat on. I don't. I'll save it though, just in case I decide, in case I get froggy. Oh, here's an old Sesh Beat. It's in a teeny weeny bottle and I have a brand new one. So I'm gonna part with that. Okay, here is a black polish. I can use this to put my black sparkles over. Let's experiment. And I think Ruth sent me this one. It's F. So I guess it's finger paints. Here, I'm going to paint this box and then we're going to put some black. It's still very liquidy. Then we're going to put some black glitter over it. In the meantime, let's see what this is. Here's some more gelish. I don't know whether that's any good anymore. Here's a cuticle slotty cutter thing. I bet that's from a vintage nail kit. I bet I'm not going to ever use it. I could use it to clean up, like push it, put it on the side and scrape boo-boos off, like where I messed up with nail polish. I have a hard time throwing things away, don't I? Okay, these, these cotton balls, some cotton balls in here. Some fingernail stickers. Those are fun. Right? I don't know. I think some little fingernail crystals. That's fun, right? Here's some little flowers I have. Let's save that. Here's a teeny weeny, uh, I think it's crystal nail file. I should put that in my pocketbook for sure. There used to be a girl I used to watch on YouTube that had great nails. 
she was really into her nails and she recommended these files so I got them I'll put that in my pocketbook in my purse of the book okay let's see if my uh, my dibby dabs dry yet all right let's put a black glitter over the okay this one that was so pretty the pure ice let's put that over the top I have to admit that's super duper cool Ugh, the paint on the other side is sticking. The one that I threw away, the shimmery chic. All right, well, we'll give those a go. We'll make that a pairing. This black polish from Finger Paints. If I keep tapping it like this together, do you think they'll bust? <laughs> and the Pure Ice in Private Show. That's naughty, isn't it? It's a naughty polish. I should throw it away for that. It's got all colors of glitters. Okay, <clears throat> I'll make that a pairing. Okay, you're not gonna believe this one. Who bought this one? It is, what was it? had a really nouvelle vague and I also had the Tiffany's one the breakfast at Tiffany's or whatever uh, what was it Audrey something this one's still good I'm keeping this one even though it's a little warmer than what it, and it's pearl it's a Tiffany box with a little pearl I guess anyway I'm saving that one it's my polish. I can save it if I want to. Look. Look at the attention to detail. It's the only Chanel polish I own. And I'm going to put that one with my greens. This is the Butter London. This is the Deborah Lippman and the Chanel. All right. One more in my little bowl. Ugh. This is gnarly. It has taco hairs in it. This one is a Kat Von D and it's called Lovecraft. So evidently this one must have a name on it too. Where did I put it? So let's finish up this nail polish collection and I'll show you the last couple of things and I'll show you how I have them arranged here. It's inconvenient for them to be here. But anyway, so the last one I came across is another Kat Von D mini. It, I think, it was either Carol or Ruth that sent me this Kat Von D collection. This one's called Lovecraft. It's a, it's a nudie pink, and I think it has just a slight shift to it. And then this one I did find a name for, and it's called Bajas, Baja, Baja, B-A-U-H-A-U-S, -A -A Baja. I don't know. Anyway. So, there's the three minis I have. So, here's how I've arranged them down here so I can get my thoughts in order on how to use them. There's the greeny ones, the bluey ones. The, well, it looks like a, oh, purpley, purpley ones, pinky ones, minis gel polishes that I don't know what I'm going to do with yet. See all the sparkles? All the sparkles. And then there's the reds. And then there's the the nudie the nudie pinks and whites. Leave in the comments if you want me to keep you updated on what I end up tossing. I'll probably end up sharing anyway just because it'll be on my mind each day. Because I, I, this is what my plan is. Doesn't mean I'm going to do it. I'm going to try to change my polish up more often and give these a try. Give them a trial run. I think 
Ah, uh, Rachel the Great does that with palettes. And I think I'm gonna try that with polishes. I enjoyed this visit with you girls. And I look for, oh, and I welcome all of you who came over from Kathy's Beauty Care Chats to um, be from our Spring Favorites collab. Thank you so much. I appreciate, I appreciate Kathy so much for encouraging me and helping me along. And I appreciate you girls for coming over and subscribing to my channel. Hopefully I won't disappoint you and you'll stay around and you'll participate in our conversations in the comments. Y'all have a great day and thank you so much. Ta-ta.